So good morning, everybody. I'm very pleased and uh, happy to meet uh, developers in this area of the world. So I've been able to go in several places, and I think that uh, Eastern Europe is becoming really also uh, an exciting uh, territory. So I want to thank Dan for its organization, and thank you for uh, enabling me to, to share a little bit more about uh, Orange, about Orange Partner, of course, but more uh, important about the customers and the people that are using apps. So just as a, a little introduction, indeed, uh, Orange Partner is sitting into uh, the group organization in charge of uh, marketing and innovation for Orange. So we're working closely with all the people that are effectively developing uh, all the new products and services for the group in all the markets. So therefore, it's a very important role we have uh, of a, a facilitator between you, your talent, your innovation, uh, your services, our different markets that are the ones that are going to be distributing it or even integrating it into their services. And of course, at the end, uh, our customers that are the ones that are using it. So I just wanted to give you a little flavor of uh, orange in general, because indeed, uh, if you're Romanian uh, or in Armenia, in Poland, uh, everybody knows orange, but I'm not sure you know uh, what the group is doing as a whole. So I'll spend a couple of minutes in uh, sharing that. Okay, so uh, as you know, Orange, it's really the fifth worldwide, uh, mobile, worldwide operator. So it's not only mobile, that's the most important thing. It's really about uh, uh, delivering services in uh, 36 countries, as far as mobile is concerned, but moreover also serving service, delivering services in, uh, for business customers all over the world with our business services uh, presence. And uh, we also have a strong, uh, of course, European presence, but moreover, and as uh, my predecessor was saying, in Africa, uh, with presence in 20 country, countries, we can see very uh, exciting and uh, innovative and uh, very uh, challenging uh, new uh, markets rising and, uh, and new uh, also opportunities for developers. So we are not just doing mobile. So I love to say that most of the time when we speak about Orange, a lot of people think it's a, a UK mobile operator. It's a little bit more than that, indeed, because uh, we have a, a lot of uh, assets and skills that uh, you can use, a strong uh, commercial presence in all the countries. And we are pretty active, uh, of course, on the mobile space, because we have uh, uh, these 36 countries, and we, are all, we're also, we also have the number one portfolio in terms of uh, operators' applications. So uh, we are like you. We're developing apps. We are distributing them on the major stores. We have. Uh, some say some, some some of us some of them say yes some of them say no so sometimes it's quick sometimes it's slow but uh, we face the same issue as you do of course the businesses and uh, something strong also for Orange it's the presence on the professional and small and medium market especially in France uh, where we have uh, uh, more than two million customers and for this if uh, if in the room you have a uh, software editors or uh, people that wants to uh, also uh, propose their solution for, uh, for small and mobile, uh, small, small and medium business in France. Uh, be aware that we also distribute a SaaS solution to our French-based customers. Uh, we, of, of course, uh, offer uh, internet, uh, IPTV, voice over IP services in major markets, and uh, we were the first also to launch the mobile HD voice in Moldova a couple of years ago and it's now spreading in different countries and of course we have a, a strong uh, networks presence and uh, we also want those assets and network assets to be uh, used by you since we offer a larger portfolio of uh, APIs for uh, several years now. So what, uh, what we want to, to do at Orange, of course, is that the complexity we're all uh, facing with technology on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, our role is to uh, make it disappear behind the curtain and make sure that uh, each of our customer, and they are very different, and I'll be sharing that with you in a couple of minutes, and uh, all of them, they need to adapt uh, this technology that is really moving fast uh, at this pace, and of course, uh, I would tend to say that uh, here in the room, 
most uh, likely most of us are very similar. We are uh, in the technology business, uh, in the innovation, uh, using heavily uh, mobile, uh, the internet, the technology, developing apps, consuming apps. But uh, are we really uh, representative of the people we are trying to bring applications to? I think that it's uh, really the, the challenge. And today we need to uh, make sure that uh, we try to have all together a better understanding of uh, what are the expectations of, uh, of the end user, of the guy that is effectively going to be using uh, your app, and how to make sure we can help in facilitating this link between uh, the market and the user need and, uh, and the application you have. Because for sure, one size doesn't fit all. Everybody is really uh, different. Uh, we have uh, various uh, customer segments, various profile, and uh, you can't, uh, of course, uh, uh, make sure, you can't expect that everybody is going to be needing or using apps the same way. So uh, at Orange, we, we are working on the marketing side with what we call personas. So it's a, it's a semi-fictional but very realistic uh, representation of uh, Orange customers in, uh, in our various markets. And uh, with the marketing teams, you know, we're trying to put ourselves uh, as much as possible in the customer shoes. And that's what I'd like to share a little bit with you today to make sure that uh, if you see at the bottom, you have all those uh, personas and between uh, Luca who is a little boy uh, sitting on the, on the ground, uh, that is a seven, uh, seven year old boy and uh, you have uh, Nicole in the middle somewhere who is an 80, uh, 80 year old uh, lady that is, uh, you know, uh, having some health issues and needs to be helped. For sure, all those people doesn't have the same, uh, the same needs. And uh, as you can see, indeed, in terms of uh, manufacturers and on the different uh, segments we have, uh, you still have a, a strong presence of, uh, of Nokia, Samsung, and overall, for example, Apple only represents 11% of uh, this uh, overall uh, manufacturer's uh, place into the orange uh, world. So uh, this is just to say that, indeed, our role is to make sure that the customers, no matter the the platform he uses, no matter the device, he can, of course, discover and use apps. And of course, it's not going to be uh, uh, shaping up and taking off uh, the same way per segment. So we also look at how those different segments uh, use apps. And for sure, you can say that there's a takeoff for what we call the, the digital tribe, which is really the, the key segment at Orange that is using app. But step by step, uh, apps usage uh, is really taking off in the different uh, segments. What is really important and I wanted to share is that we also try to make sure we prioritize and uh, identify uh, what our customers are most interested in. So if you take the example here of Romania, for example, you can see that people in Romania uh, expect application around uh, music and radio, a lot about games, navigation, and more important, and what is key really to uh, to us, and that's also the role we we are playing because uh, we are offering uh, different uh, distribution or discovery uh, channels for the customer on its smartphone, is to make sure that uh, they can have good and local relevant apps. So I'm sure that uh, each of you in your uh, different country, especially uh, if uh, in those countries uh, you have. Uh, an orange uh, distribution uh, channel. It's, uh, it's important to bear in mind all the different things that our customers are expecting to really make their life uh, easier. So, of course, you need the, the big brands, the, the big must-have, but uh, more importantly, you really need to make sure you have something that makes your life easier on a day-to-day -day basis and that is relevant locally. So when we say uh, local relevance, it's not just uh, doing nice uh, Google translations and uh, say that your app is uh, localized, it's really making sure that it's uh, uh, effectively in the, in the correct language because uh, all the distribution at Orange is managed by the, the shop manager in each of the countries. So they are the ones that are looking at your apps, they are the ones that are selecting them, promoting them, and therefore we need to make sure that uh, 
the language is properly and uh, everything is uh, really relevant for uh, each of the users on the market. And we want to, of course, work with you to make sure we can promote to the end user the relevant apps. So I was talking about those personas, so I'd like uh, to share with you uh, a few of them. So uh, the first one uh, is, uh, is Catherine. Catherine is what we call a, a pragmatic woman. So Catherine, she is, uh, she's indeed the mother of three children. She's a real estate agent. She works uh, a lot. So what does it mean for her? Uh, how does it, she uses her phone? What does she do? So Catherine, she's very busy all day. So therefore, she would uh, really try to uh, expedite everything through testing. Texting, sorry, because of course speaking takes time. So if you start calling and so on, it's uh, it's very time consuming when you have a lot to do and a lot to care. So uh, so she's going to be really privileging uh, texting. And in terms of uh, application, of course, she's uh, going to really be looking at application that are really uh, facilitating and making uh, her life much more efficient. So I would tend to say she's not a heavy heavy downloader of apps, but she's going to have uh, those three or four apps that uh, really makes her life easy. So within this uh, market segment, for example, we can see that uh, only 24% of them have a, a smartphone, so uh, we still have progress to do in terms of uh, market penetration in this uh, particular segment. And in terms of uh, OS, as you can see, you still have a, a nice place for, uh, for Symbian and, uh, and the other are are following. So uh, Catherine indeed, uh, most probably uh, for some of us, uh, it's similar to our mothers and uh, yes, busy, busy, busy with children and not much time to, uh, to cope with apps. Another one I want to share with you, it's uh, Thomas. So Thomas, here it's a, it's a French young indeed, and is what we call a mobile centric. So uh, a mobile centric uh, is really somebody that uh, has his life on his mobile. So Thomas doesn't have any broadband internet access at home. He's really doing everything with his mobile. He loves to really customize his mobile, but in terms of uh, usages, he's more a kind of pay-as-you-go uh, user, and uh, he's going to be using his uh, spare time to, uh, I would say, maybe listen to music, do some photos, and play some games on his uh, smartphone but he's not necessarily a heavy uh, apps downloader because for him, internet on his mobile is costly, so therefore he doesn't know really how much he's going to be spending, so he's very cautious around that. And uh, he'll be spending much more time with his social network, and his social network is very close to him. You know, it's very around the local proximity, so he doesn't have to uh, to, uh, to communicate with a lot of people uh, all over the world. Really his life is very, I would say, uh, local centric, very around him, and, uh, and therefore, you know, uh, he's, he much, much more enjoys uh, playing football with his friend, going out and so on, that uh, heavily using, uh, he's not necessarily uh, a heavy gamer and so on, it's just uh, using uh, much more entertainment uh, services uh, when he has a little time. Another example, it's uh, Stephanie. So Stephanie, she's uh, really uh, the, one of the core targets for uh, app users. Stephanie, she's uh, what we call the, a digital adult. So it's mainly, uh, uh, as a lot of us, uh, sometimes also the first uh, jobbers. So it's people that are effectively also paying for their uh, mobile, uh, mobile uh, uh, account, of course. And uh, Stephanie, she's really uh, first an iPhone addict, for sure, but she's really splitting uh, her business and personal life. So she has two devices. So she's using her iPhone for her personal life, and she has a Blackberry for her uh, professional life. And uh, really, you know, she's uh, really keen on uh, using all the digital... Uh, uh, she's really in the digital world. She loves uh, Twitter, Facebook, etc. But uh, she really uh, is also... Uh, paying a lot of attention and uh, she's very afraid of losing all her data. She was a kind of uh, freak with the usage of, uh, of her phone, but she really wants to split really the two worlds. So most of the time, indeed, I think uh, uh, it's something we need to, to take into account in the way also uh, 
you develop apps or you try to imagine, you know, when you are starting to having an idea, who effectively could be the people using it and what could they do with it. So just briefly, indeed, as uh, you probably know, uh, through the Orange Partner Program, we, you can also uh, distribute applications with Orange. So uh, indeed, uh, we're taking apps uh, seriously, as I was saying. So we're one of the leading uh, retailer of premium content. This is how our business uh, started, reselling uh, a lot of, uh, of games uh, and premium content. We, has, we have, as I said, uh, you know, a strong portfolio of Orange application, but we also uh, need to make sure we can offer ways to, drive, to bring content and services to, uh, to all our customers. So we also have a, an open source platform to also bring uh, some widgets uh, for more uh, low and mid-range devices phone in, uh, in our markets. And of course, we are closely looking at uh, everything that is shaping around uh, NFC, LTE, uh, HTML5, uh, rich communication suite, so a lot of topics our uh, colleagues in, uh, in group marketing and innovation are, are working on. And we also have uh, the, all the mobile payment solutions uh, under uh, the name of uh, Orange Money also for, uh, for African countries. So what do we want to bring you in terms of uh, distribution channels? So, uh, uh, to our customer, we're offering different ways to discover application. It's called Orange Selection, and uh, it's uh, shaping in various uh, forms. Uh, whereas, you know, it's uh, an embedded uh, app shop client on the Android devices, or uh, a joint, an uh, exclusive corner that we have, for example, on uh, Marketplace and uh, the Nokia Store both today uh, in France and UK, and for the Nokia store, we also have it in Austria. So for us, it's really about uh, uh, making a selection of uh, 50 to 100 apps, so it's not, uh, it's not a lot. So that's why it's uh, a great uh, visibility and, uh, and channel for you uh, that we are going to be uh, delivering to our customers. Uh, it's very simple for them to use because uh, they can benefit from the mobile bill uh, payment, so they don't have to create any, any account. It's pretty straightforward. And what we can see is that uh, our uh, distribution channel performs pretty well since 30% uh, of the premium, the content we are uh, distributing is premium content. So uh, it's uh, indeed a, a dedicated channel to Orange customer, but I think it's a channel that is performing well. And we can see also from the first results we have on the, the marketplace platform that uh, this platform is for sure also an interesting one, and we can see uh, good results uh, despite, I would say, a lower number of uh, applications on the, on the marketplace. You can see that uh, it's, a, it's a platform that is pretty much encouraging and performing well on, uh, on the markets where we have launched it in, uh, in the France and the UK. So a couple of words if you didn't know uh, Orange Partner. Orange Partner is indeed the, the developer program from Orange that exists since 2004. So you can, uh, of course, access a lot of information and, uh, and find the way to also submit your app through the, to this website. And uh, I invite you to, uh, to join us, to visit us, and to stay tuned because uh, indeed the program is, uh, is going to be uh, evolving in the in the coming months so uh, we'll have more uh, much more to share but uh, what we want for sure is to make sure that we can share as much as possible this marketing knowledge with you and uh, better uh, understand and even you this better understanding of who exactly uh, you're targeting to make uh, sure that your app uh, meets uh, the need of the orange customer I was also mentioning uh, APIs so uh, it's a while we have opened different uh, network assets and uh, you can uh, find uh, either, you know, uh, pure B2B APIs uh, such as uh, everything that is uh, SMS, MMS, click to call, etc. We also have uh, some connectivity APIs uh, around uh, M2M services. We have a lot also of more uh, web uh, APIs if you want to reach or facilitate uh, uh, enrollment, ident identification profile on, uh, on some website with, uh, with B2C APIs around uh, you know, uh, orange identity, etc. 
And something I'd like to mention too, because it's a part of the group and uh, not uh, everybody necessarily knows if, you, if you're familiar with Dailymotion. So Dailymotion, it's a, it's a video platform similar to what uh, YouTube is. And of course, you have also a lot of uh, video APIs and an API player that is available on the Dailymotion site that you can use. And we're going to be uh, also uh, linking those APIs from, uh, from the Orange Partner Portal. So that's it. Thank you very much for your uh, attention. I'll be here uh, up to midday on Wednesday, so really happy to, to meet you, discuss with you, and, uh, and share with you anything you, you want with my colleague uh, Hervé that is uh, sitting uh, right there. So there is a little uh, orange stand on the exhibition area, or I mean, feel free to, to come and meet, we're here for that. And we want to make sure we can uh, also uh, distribute together red apps to the orange customers. Thanks. Hi, Alexia. Uh, a few questions. I will start by asking you if, uh, well, the whole app ecosystem is it as like a strategic has a strategic importance for orange are you focusing on that it, it will be uh, highly supported in the in the next future in the close future yeah, so the application is, ecosystem is indeed a, a strong uh, a strong uh, strategic uh, focus for orange as i was saying it's really uh, enriching and bringing uh, relevant content and services to the orange customer to make sure it's for each Orange customer, so therefore, you know, being a, a, I would say a global player, but trying to really leverage on the local presence in each of our countries and uh, making shoes, sure, sorry, we can uh, really uh, deliver and enrich the products and services we bring to our customer is, uh, is, uh, is strategic because, of course, when you're in the innovation business, a lot of the innovation is also coming from uh, outside, for sure. So. Uh, now we understood that we absolutely need as an operator also to be much more open than uh, we maybe uh, were before. So therefore, you know, uh, we have uh, tons of uh, developers, researchers, but uh, talent is also outside, that's the reason we are here today. So for sure, yes, uh, the app uh, ecosystem and uh, application and developers are also part of, uh, of the strategy of Orange, yes, with the Orange Partner Program. So, uh, one more question. What do you think is the, the key point for uh, the mobile app developers, the, the most interesting one in your program, in your um, developer program? So what is uh, very important for sure is, uh, as I was saying, the, the quality of the application and, uh, and really when it talks about uh, localization, the, the quality also of the translation. So. Uh, uh, for us, it's very important uh, because we are distributing your apps through our orange distribution channels. Therefore, you know, if uh, one of our customers that is downloading uh, your application as an issue, he's calling, you know, our customer service. It's not like, a, I would say, at Apple or Google, if you have an issue with, a, with an app on those platform, you can try to call them and not sure you'll get an answer. But our customers downloading an app from, a, from an orange channel, indeed, expect first and foremost the quality. As I was saying, we are in a, more in a selection uh, mechanism, so therefore, you know, for us, uh, we don't want to over overwhelm them with uh, tons of apps, but much, much sure, uh, make sure that we select the good ones, so uh, that's why we don't necessarily have uh, 25 dictionaries, 34 translators, and so on. We try to pick the, the good ones. And it's much more to uh, also uh, look and find the, uh, I would say, the little uh, gold, uh, the little golden apps uh, together with uh, with our developer community. And uh, yes, quality uh, for sure is key because uh, afterwards, you know, it's uh, really uh, all the support and relationship we have and trust our customer are giving us that is uh, that is taken into uh, consideration. So it's very important that. Uh, everything works and, uh, and is of good quality. So bottom line is that you are looking for champions, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have one icebreaker over here, one question. Hi, my name is, my name is Cibrian. I'd like to ask you, as a developer, how much do I need to pay Orange to feature my application in your app store? 
Ah, you don't need to pay anything. You just need to. You can create your publishing account going to, to the Orange Partner website. So you have a, a service called Orange Partner Connect that will enable you to distribute apps as of today in uh, France, UK, and uh, and Romania. And it just costs a ten uh, a ten euro one off fee simply to just to check uh, your uh, bank details and uh, credit card information. That's all. So uh, it doesn't cost. And you can post uh, application for Java, for example, Symbian and Android from the same place to different countries for a 10, uh, 10 euro one off fee. And uh, one more question. Hello, I am Adrian Dombrava from Romania. I saw that uh, on your slide you mentioned you provide on an APP clinic. clinic. What, what it is? App clinic, you mean? Yeah, so uh, it's, uh, it's events we're running with uh, some of our uh, developers and, uh, and also uh, in-house uh, developers to try to uh, uh, look at your apps, help you improve, uh, you know, uh, or, if, or discuss with our experts that are uh, working uh, on a platform. So you have, some, uh, you have some, uh, some of my colleagues here coming from Poland that are developer experts on uh, Android, uh, Nokia, Blackberry, uh, so they are uh, sitting uh, on top here, so here it's much more, you know, uh, events we're running locally to help developers really uh, improve uh, or uh, work together on debugging their apps, etc. All right, thank you, Alexia.